A fascinating discovery has been made by scientists in China that has raised some questions about human evolution. A skull they found during an archaeological dig has been identified as the Dragon Man, part of an extinct species of ancient human beings. I'm going to get into all of those details in just a moment, but first, if you could do us a big favor, and please tap that like button. We'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. This new Dragon Man skull could be a huge turning point for mankind. Scientists believe it may even cause a rewrite on the story of human evolution. The skull had actually been hidden for 85 years and was found rapidly wrapped up at the bottom of a well in China. Announcing the discovery in a press release, the Chinese Academy of Sciences said, Although it is impossible to pin the cranium to an exact location with currently available technology, all the evidence suggests that it was from a bed of water laid sediments aged between 138 and 309,000 years ago in the Harbin region. He then added, We are quite confident now that the fossil is older than 146,000 years. Which is absolutely insane to think that another species of human beings was on this very same earth 146,000 years ago? What? Let me know in the comments right now how that's making you feel, okay? And this ancient skull found represents a confirmed brand new human species called Homo longi or Longi. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but Dragon Man is much cooler either way. In addition to that, an author and professor of paleontology said that this was one of the most complete human cranial fossils in the world. He said that this fossil preserved many morphological details that were critical for understanding the evolution of the Homo genus as well as the origin of Homo sapiens. And as you can see, the Dragon Man really does have that typical caveman-like human features that we're used to seeing, except this time the Dragon Man had a massive skull that could actually hold a brain comparable in size to modern humans, but had larger, almost square-eyed sockets, thick brow ridges, a wide mouth, and oversized teeth. It's believed that much like Homo sapiens, they too hunted mammals and birds and gathered fruits and vegetables, and maybe even caught fish from time to time. After further investigation by researchers, they also determined that the Dragon Man here was pretty large in size. His cheeks were flatter and his mouth was broad, and apparently his brain was about 7% larger than the average brain of a living human. The New York Times reporting on what the researchers found in regards to there being no link to any other lineage of human species was also pretty fascinating. Fascinating. In the article, the author writes, The researchers argue that Dragon Man's combination of anatomical features are found in no previously named species of hominin, the lineage of bipedal apes that diverged from other African apes. They later evolved into larger brain species that set the stage for Homo sapiens to expand across the entire globe. Professor Christopher Stinger, who is a paleoanthropologist at the Natural History of Museum, also noted that this marks a third human lineage in East Asia that really has their own distinct combination of features. Now, the next big thing they will be doing to find even more information is obtaining DNA from the skull. That will actually be able to tell these researchers so much more, and if there are any updates to the story, we'll be sure to let you know. Also, don't forget to drop us a comment down below with your thoughts on all of this, and while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Austin McBroom, Social Globes Owner, Scams Fighters, and Facing Bankruptcy. Marin says, a reminder to actually research the companies you are going to do business with. I mean, yeah, good business tip. That would be a really good idea. Do some, do some background work. Erica Stone says, never make a promise you can't keep. Another good business tip. Just a, a good life tip, really. Andy McKett says, shouldn't the people he mentioned that handles the finance be hired before the event? I mean, yeah. You make, you make a lot of sense, Annie. You should almost be there as like a consultant for it. You, know? you, you should hire these people beforehand so we don't have to deal with this. The Voice of Reason says, <laughs> I love that name. I can't say that I'm exactly shocked. Coming from the voice of reason, I'm gonna have to say that I trust you. Steve says, this whole social gloves boxing thing is a joke. I mean, let's see those pay-per-view numbers first, and then we can determine whether or not it's funny. Either way, guys, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.